Hi everyone, I'm Yuxiang Wang from University of Toronto. So this work is done with Hong Ting Su, Chen Shi Zhang, Zhe Yu Liu, and Winston Shi, who are from National Taiwan University. So today I'll present our work, Video Question Generation by a Cross Model Self Attention Networks Learning, which is accepted by ACAS 2020. So this is the outline of today's presentation. I'll first talk about the motivation of our work and our proposed task, video question generation, then introduce our model architecture. And I'll show the experiments and results, then the diversity analysis of our model. And in the end, I'll discuss some future works, takeaways, and the related works. Now I'll introduce our motivation. So before we get into our motivation, I would like to briefly introduce the video question answering task. So in video question answering task, the input would be a video clip and the human annotated question. A video query model would decide the answer given these two inputs. So here we show an example from the TV data dataset proposed by Lei et al. in the ENLP 2018. However, Training a successful video query model needs huge amount of data. So the existing human label video query dataset are either not big enough or cost a huge amount of money. So for example, there are only 58,000 QA pairs in the ActivityNet QA. As for the TV query dataset we just mentioned, according to their paper, the TV query dataset, TV query dataset cost them around uh, more than 28,000 US dollars, which is really expensive and not easily to be afforded by most of the people or the labs. Uh, although there are some existing methods to automatically generate the questions, but these questions have some uh, disadvantage. So usually these questions are usually lack diversity and are redundant. So our motivation here is, why not we augment the video curated asset by automatically generating more diverse video QA pairs with existing unlabeled videos, which are very cheap to access through the internet. Therefore, in this work, we took a first step to solve the problem. So in this work, we aim at generating the questions given the video clip input. We propose a very uh, practical task, video question generation to solve our previously mentioned problem. So in the video question generation task, our model will take the video frames and the dialogues as input. And the ideal generated questions should be diverse enough and also answerable. So here we use an example from the TV QA dataset. So given a video clip from the Friends series, which I think most of you are very familiar with, one of the ideal generated questions is what does Rachel do after she picks up the phone? So in our proposed task, the goal is to generate this kind of question. And now uh, I'll talk about our model. We propose a semantic rich cross model self attention network. And there are two com components in our models. The first component is semantic rich embeddings. The semantic rich embedding is to enhance the semantics of the visual features. The second component is the cross-model attention encoder. Our proposed cross-model attention encoder fuses the visual and the textual information and generate more powerful representation of the input video frames and the dialogues. And now we'll introduce the first component, the semantic rich embeddings. So for the visual features, uh, people usually will extract the visual features of each frame by the pre-trained network. So in our project, we actually use the pre-trained ResNet 101 layer to extract the features, extract the features of each frame. But the problem here is the visual features of the videos are usually redundant and didn't contain high-level semantic features. So in order to solve the problem, we want to enrich the semantic information in these uh, visual features. So what we do is we propose semantic rich embeddings, which enrich the semantic information by the detected objects. First, uh, we detect the object in each video frame with the pre-trained faster RCN. 
And for each object, we will assign an object embedding to them. The next step is we do the mean pooling to the object embeddings to get the high level semantic information in each frame. Then we project the visual features to the object embedding space because the dimensions of the visual features and the object space are mismatched. So in order to uh, do the attention between the visual features and the object level embeddings, we have to do the projection. And after the projection, we then perform the dot product between the visual features and the object embeddings. The result of the dot product is the semantic rich embeddings. And now we will introduce our second component, the cross-model attention encoder. So uh, for most of the multi-model networks, they usually use the uh, LCM-based models to do the fusion. But before I talk about our cross-model self-attention network, uh, we want to like briefly uh, go through the self-attention architecture because this is a very important architecture and our model is based on the self-attention architecture. So in the 2018, the Vaswani et al, they proposed a new attention mechanism for the sequences. So the, the reason they proposed this architecture is because usually the LCM-based models suffer from the long-term dependency problem and high time complexity because each hidden states of the input are required to calculate at uh, each time step. However, the self-attention mechanism proposed by uh, Vaswani et al, they, their work can solve the long-term dependency problem and also accelerate the calculation because the hidden states of each words in the input sequence can be calculated parallelly. So here I want to mention that, uh, so their architecture can be, can also be known as the transformer word. And now uh, here, the figure here is the demonstration of the self-attention in the Vaswani Adults paper. Here, the QKV is the entire sequence in the original self-attention architecture. And the QKV is originally originated from the same input, which is the word sequence, but times uh, the different weight matrix. So we show the single head scale dot product attention here. The attention is calculated by the query times the key and divided by the, the square root of the dimension. The value, so uh, we will pass this value as to a softmax there and then times the, the V, which is actually the value in the formula. So usually people will not only just use one, uh, one scale dot product attention, but instead using multi-head attention and they'll concave the attention from different heads to provide more uh, information from different spaces. And here I want to point out is that uh, we observed that the process of the self-attention is very similar to the fusion mechanism. So uh, actually you can see that in the previous slides, the, we're ac they're actually doing the fusion uh, between the single mortality, but in different spaces. So why not we use the self-attention architecture as the fusion architecture? And that's why we propose the cross-model attention encoder. So inspired by the self-attention architecture, we propose the cross-model attention encoder, which can better fuse the multi-model features. So in our cross-model attention encoder, we take advantage of the self-attention architecture. And in the original self-attention architecture, the query key and value are all the same input. But in our cross-model attention encoder, we treat the query as our proposed semantic rich embedding. And we assign the key and value as the subtitle features in the videos. We then fuse them with the self-attention architecture and get the re representation of the input video clip. In our experiments, we found that the cross-model attention encoder can better fuse the multi-model features and improve the performance. Now, uh, I'll show you the experiments and results. So we use TVQA dataset as our training dataset, which contain more than uh, 152,000 QA pairs. We use the video frames and the dialogues as the model input and generate the question sequence given the video clip features. We evaluate the quality of the generated question with the commonly used uh, metric, such as the blue, blue four, the rouge, cider, and the meteor. And we use three models as our baseline, the S2VT, 
object to test and RMGD. So here the S2VT is just a pure LCM sequence to sequence model. It takes the input video frames as input. And the object to test here is also an LCM based model, but use the but also use the object level features. And IMGD here is also a LCM based uh, model, but it's a multi-model architecture. As for our model, the SA indicates the self attention, which only takes the video frames as input. Therefore, you can also view the SA as the self attention a very pure self attention model. So as you can see, the, uh, the self attention model can improve the models slightly. And the second experiment is that we use, we add the cementing rich embeddings into our models. And we found that this you know, cementing rich embeddings is really helpful and can improve the video frame features by a really large margin. And the last experiment is the, uh, of, the complete models, which we use a self attention, uh, the cementing rich embeddings, and the cross model self attention encoder. And we found that these models can further improve our second experiments and surpass all the other models in all the metrics. And the second experiment is we evaluate the diversity of the model by the word coverage, because the diversity is also a very important factor in the generated question. So here, the word coverage means. Uh, let's just take the 0.1%, for example. The 0.1% means the top 0.1% frequent words in our generated questions and, how many, and cover how many portions of the generated words and so on. So here you can just uh, see, uh, remember that the smaller number is the more diverse generated questions are. And we found our proposed model can generate more diverse questions than our baseline models. And here I want to discuss some future with, with you. So because in our model, we only generate the questions, but if we want to augment the a complete video clear data set, we also have to generate the answers uh, at the same time. Also, by uh, providing the answer information, we can generate more corresponding questions. And once we're able to generate the questions and the answers, then we can generate a large scale video clear data set. So the second future work is we can pre-train our video QA models with our generated video QA data set and then fine tune it with a small amount of the human annotated video QA pairs. And so in these settings, we can uh, it only requires less human efforts and less money. So it's more affordable for people to uh, do this research. And here are some conclusion. So we propose a novel and practical task video question generation. And we enrich the semantics of the video frames features by using the object level information. And the next one is we take advantage from the self-attention architecture and propose a novel fusion encoder, which is called cross-model self-attention encoder. So we actually believe that the video question generation can sincerely benefit the video QA community. And we encourage you or the researchers in this area uh, to uh, explore more possibilities in video question generation and use them to help your video QA uh, task. Uh, in the end, these are some references. Thank you.